Okay, thanks Manisha for that. Well, those are the Divi's numbers on your screen and it's looking like a complete miss both on the top line as well as the bottom line. So it's coming at around 1,854 crores in terms of revenue. The street was anticipating around 2,200 odd crores this time round. So the street was anticipating around maybe a growth of 10 to 11 odd percent. And remember, this compares to around 2,200 odd crores that they did in the previous quarter. So it is definitely lower on a sequential basis and lower uh, versus our expectations as well. There's been a steep downtick in terms of the net profit as well. So 493 odd crores is what it's come in at. Remember last quarter it was at around 659 odd crores and the street expectations were around 579 odd crores. Uh, we just want to wait by for the margins for divis because remember that the key uh, USP of Divi's Labs is basically the high margins that they managed to maintain. They have maintained over uh, at least 40% in terms of margins in previous quarters and it would definitely be a bit of a disappointment. So that, as you can see, the EBITDA is coming at around 621 crores. The street was anticipating over 800 odd crores in terms of a performance. Remember that there were multiple factors that uh, the street was looking out for. Q1 FI23 was a big disappointment for Divi's in terms of numbers as the margins had dipped over almost 600 basis points on a Q1 Q base uh, on a Q1 Q basis as the Molnu Peravir opportunity had tapered plus there was a slowing base business as well so the street was anticipating that at least there would be a Q1 Q recovery which would come through this quarter stability in numbers on a Q1 Q basis is at least what the street was looking for it seems as though they have not come through with those expectations at least on a sequential basis and that's the reason why you're seeing this steep disappointment which has come through for Divi's Labs, the stock down around 6 odd percent. Remember, there was weakness in the custom synthesis business, which was basically uh, one of the reasons was because of the reduction in supplies of the Molnupiravir API, which is basically the COVID-19 drug. But separately, the street was anticipating any kind of weakness in the base business X of Molnupiravir. And that's probably one of the reasons why we're seeing this kind of reaction, that maybe there is a disappointment which has come through in the base business for Divi's Labs as well. Uh, net profit is at around uh, 493 odd crores and maybe we should pull up the margins and see what they've come in at on a calculated basis. Like I mentioned, uh, you know, the Divi's Labs margins have been uh, generally even above 40 odd percent. They have one of the best margins within the entire pharmaceutical space and that's the reason why they're generally rewarded as much as they are. And uh, if in case there is a sequential disappointment in the margins, then the street would probably be unhappy with it because uh, there was a stability in the q and q numbers that the street was anticipating. So a bit are down around 24 odd percent coming at around 621 crores. So margins as you can see have come in at 33.5 percent. This compares to 38 percent in the previous quarter or uh, rather 37 percent in the previous quarter. So they've come in at 33 percent. The street was anticipating 38 percent. I think this is probably one of the lowest margins that Divis has ever reported uh, in uh, its entire reporting history or since I've been looking at the numbers at least. Uh, so it's definitely been a disappointment which has come in in the margins. As you can see, 33 percent is what they have reported. It's a multi-quarter low when it's come in. At, uh, when it comes to the margins for Divi's Labs. Prakash Divan is with us to tell us about his perspective on the numbers. Uh, Prakash, you know, there was this note on the 11th of October where an IIFL note had estimated that the revenue could decline over 20% on a Q1Q <sighs> basis. And overall, there could be weakness in terms of the numbers. Uh, what is your sense in terms of what Divi's has reported? So I, I, I'm sure, you know, even the poll of uh, 2200 odd crores that was expected uh, uh, from the company, that's been missed badly. Uh, so, you know, the poll had anticipated uh, weakness and this is much beyond that. So I think definitely this is a howler of sorts. Uh, mm. Don't expect this from DVs. And there was not any indication that it would be so dramatically low. Hmm. So I think that 1850 odd uh, uh, is is definitely a big big miss. Okay, but margins, uh, Prakash, you know, how would yeah. one look at the margins for Divi's? Because the premium has generally been given because of that 40% plus margins that they've reported, or maybe even 35% in a bad quarter. Now they've come in at 33 and a half percent. Absolutely. So, you know, I mean, that's that's exactly why even the profit miss of almost like 80 crores uh, from from what was expected at 575, 80 is, is uh, a dramatic miss 
So not only revenue, also margins at 33 odd is not something which you. I mean, these are very pedestrian numbers, right? I mean, uh, you would you would not expect that from a company of this uh, caliber. So we we'll really have to figure out what's led to all this. This is very similar to what Lupin went through a few mm. years back, where everything mm. started crashing down uh, in terms of revenue, in terms of margin, in terms of its pricing power. So there's something definitely that's that's uh, beleaguered. Uh, I mean, I mean the stock is beleaguered with, and we'll have to figure that out. But it's def- it's 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 a miss on all counts. Uh, worrisome so on the margins as well, and then hence you know you could slice things like the EBITDA and everything, and why is it so down? But then I think intrinsically uh, that the the uh, margins itself is a big question, and there's uh, something that we we'll need to hear them out on. Uh, to assess whether this is sure. going to continue or is it something we have to live with for more. I remember last quarter the company had said that, you know, we could see quarterly variability in terms of margins, but the long-term margins will be in line with previous estimates. So let's see whether or not this is an actual aberration in terms of margins and whether they are intact on a long-term basis. But Prakash, you know, one thing about DVs is that despite the correction, it still trades at a premium. If you look at it, you know, FI24 estimated EPS is around 100 odd rupees is still trading at over 30 odd times uh, or thereabout. Uh, what is your sense? Do you think that there will be a shave off in terms of EPS estimates um, now? Yes. So, you know, uh, unfortunately, both the P multiple and the mm-hmm. EPS uh, could could get contracted uh, is my sense. You know, when things go bad uh, and as you said, if the variability is uh, on a quarterly basis, but it kind of evens out towards the mean reversion on on the higher side, it would still be okay. But I don't think these numbers give you that comfort that it would happen in a hurry, which means that for at least the next two, four quarters, uh, you you know, the premium valuations would get shaved off and so would the estimates uh, on on, uh, earnings because, uh, you know, the market would love to reward earnings which will restore itself. Uh, The visibility needs to come back, which doesn't seem to be uh, the thing because the company has been warning us, but you know, this is this is far more deeper than what probably we took it very lightly. It's, uh, the market took this it very is lightly. More, is what I would this could more be about the base business declining and not just an, a Molnu Piravir yeah, opportunity yeah. diminishing, correct? Yes, yes. So that's that's why, you know, so uh, that will exactly uh, define how uh, how secular the thing would be uh, in terms of this thing. If it's the base business itself contracting, then, uh, you know, it would take that much longer to, to come back and retrieve. Uh, and hence the valuations would definitely be deferred till then. The premium valuations would have to be deferred till then. Okay, all right, Prakash, we're going to leave it on that note. Thanks very much for joining in and speaking with us. So it's definitely a disappointment for Divi's Labs. Just to put it simply, the